Right, I actually need some um, die cuts right, with bugs and things like that. So I thought I would take these scrapbook papers that I covered oh, ages ago. I've only got about three left. Most of them are pink that I've got left, which I, could, I don't really want. Um, I'll try and link the video below because um, these were emulsion paint, you know, or house paint, the water-based house paint that I've done these with. And see the words on that one. That's old scrapbooking papers. There's another one here. Okay, that's quite a thick weight, so that's pretty good. This is a little bit thinner, but I thought we'd have some fun with uh, some art bars. You can do this with the Tim Holtz crayons. I might do one with the Tim Holtz crayons as well. I'm not sure yet, but I also want to do some alcohol ink ones because I like um the sort of motley effect of that for for bugs and things which that's the journal i'm doing so um but these ones i got a long time ago i have used them on here occasionally um but you've got your gelados you've got neo crayons the water-based ones which are fantastic they are actually in my house because i use them in my art journal at night when sometimes when i do something um what else oh there's loads <laughs> well there's these there's the tim holtz um these ones if you've got those the whole range of those they're brilliant as well but i do want to use some of these um today only because I, i've hardly used them so right i gotta pick some colors that i actually want i sort of um i might have that a bit more yellow green that could be quite interesting okay we'll go with that but because i'm trying to with the kit i'm trying to bring um like a bit of spring into it so which is fine which again i've shown this before you know with the scribbling so it's literally it's covered you cannot do that you cannot do this unless you have a base to work on gesso will be fine yeah gesso or anything that's you know or gel matte medium if you want it see-through but or a thick layer of gesso okay because the paint doesn't move it goes into the scrapbook paper and you want you want everything to move okay You can just spritz a little bit of water. Right, just get wet wipe. It will move. <laughs> really will move. Okay, I will do the light, the light colours first. Okay. Just blend them out. I will add some more, you know, it's not the depth I want yet, but it's a nice spring, spring tone there. Okay, and you can blend into that now. Uh, I need some more here. Well, you don't have to spray it either, it's just that the water just keeps this wet really.
<clears throat> but I'll just sort of dry that off a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put some more colour on now. Blend that a little bit out there. Okay. Give it a good dry. Oh, this is like an alcohol ink. It's absolutely brilliant, actually, I will say. It's one of the nicest I've seen. Okay. And you might not see it, but on camera, but. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. And again, this isn't going to be a hole because I'm just going to die cut it, you know. Could do a few numbers as well. Yeah, why not? I don't want the swirls really. There's one other one I really like. Okay. brilliantly it comes off and it still leaves the gold in the background so I feel like it was the wrong way. <laughs> I kept looking at it thinking there's something wrong there. I just got to work a little bit harder on the bits, you know, like here that's very small. It will work. And again, when it's too light, you don't see it. So. Uh, 
Um, let's get one there. So look, I think that's done. Right, so you just let that now dry up and then we can um, cut that up. And I think that's going to make some nice butterflies and bugs and things. Brilliant. And now we'll go on with the other one. It just needs to harden up. Okay, right, should we do the Tim Holtz ones next? I think we will on this one. Let's sort out my colours. Right, I know I've got these out already. So, um, colour of the kit, I need an orange. That a, an orange, I think. There's some spring colours here. That's quite a nice green. Right, okay. And don't know what's going to happen here because of... Um, you know, there's still quite a bit of pink left. So, and again, quite a strong green. This I tend to, with um, the Tim Holtz ones, I always use a little bit darker than intended because it's not light fast. I'm not sure whether those others are, actually. So it does become a lot lighter than what you think. Right, wet wipe. Um, I would suggest starting with light colour. I need a bit of water there because this just dries out. I mean, look, how cool is that? Okay. It's really good. I think this one was gesso, actually. It wasn't um, household paint, I don't think. And now for the bit of pink, but I don't want too much pink, so, you know, it's going to be rubbed out a bit. I need some more on that, though.
Okay, I'm really liking that actually. Yeah, and I think again, that's going to be great cut up. I really do. Right, I'm going to dry that first. Right, it's great. So never despair. I mean, yes, it looks bright, but this is going to be bugs. Yeah, and honestly, the colours uh, on bugs, some bugs are really bright. And this is the look, exact look that I want to achieve. I'm just going to have had a little bit of stenciling because I think these look cool too. So we'll take some of that off and then reveal what's underneath too. Yeah. I mean, I prefer it when it's white underneath, if you know what I mean, but I wanted to have a go as well with one like this. So you could see. Yeah. Okay, I'm only going to do a bit because I actually like the colour of what it is because I'm thinking of how it's going to look. But as you can see, you can bring that right back to what's underneath. Yeah, that's a little tiny bit here, I think. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's going to be cut up, but... Um, I, I'm, yeah, I know that's going to be okay. <laughs> I have faith. Because <laughs> time we heat and bossom as well. Right, okay. Yeah. Shall we do a bit of splattering? Oh, I'm terrible. I never know when to stop. I want to um, have a little puddle. And splatter it. Oh, I've got to hurry up with it though. <laughs> now I should have found my brush first. Watch what you do around though. Because I've got my phone here. <laughs> Must invest in a splatter box, I think. I suggest you don't let your kids play with the alcohol ink, so <laughs> they might become a bit hyper. <laughs> right, so get that dry and I shall sort out some die cut dies that I'm going to cut out and we shall go from there. Okay, these are the dies I used. Okay, I went ahead and that's the bugs. Um, there's a stamp set that goes with that as well. Um, I've got both, but to be honest, I tend to use um, the dies because there was no. If I was going to get anything, I would always get the dies because um, there's no way I would cut them out. So they're great, and you can you know play around with the colours yourself, like I have done. And then that's the butterflies, and I think that has stamps as well. Okay, which I don't use. I use the stamps in a different thing to to this if you know what i mean um and they've come out beautifully i mean these are going to emboss beautifully um here we go you see that's going to be really lovely so i will emboss a couple that's another one pink one so that's getting really short and some nice green bugs i don't know whether you can see lovely green that's the lovely bug there look so another nice yellow butterfly You see what I mean about the colour, how, you know, that that looks okay. That's a nice bead, I look. The colour, that's not, um, that's not Tim Holtz, so this one's beautiful. 
that embossed is going to be lovely and this butterfly here look at that one another one there yeah and this butterfly here is beautiful too yeah and then the other one that was we done first that was you know real pastel shades okay so hopefully they will so if you're doing a real pastel spring bug kit that would work beautifully i'm not sure how where mine's going yet so that's why i'm doing both and i'm also these are these are a bit thinner so i cut some some of these out and i'll i'll back them okay i'll glue them together before i emboss them because they're too thin to emboss even though it would work but they're a little bit too thin um yeah i'll show you some of the I mean, like this, look at that. How cool is that? And that one. This one's got like spots on, which is great. Yeah, so they're good. And I want to do some with alcohol inks next. Okay, on the gel plate with um, like a, a shiny paper or a shiny surface so that we can, um, I want real sort of like different colours again, I think. Just to see some purples maybe. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so I will go ahead and do a couple of these, I think. Let's do, I've got to do that one, haven't I? That's beautiful. Well, there, there's loads that are beautiful here and I'll do that one and that one. Okay, I'll do a couple of bugs. That bug's nice. Oh, that one definitely is great. Right, so I haven't got time to do them all, so. Nice yellow on there. Gosh, see, I, I've already got some done. Which in here. And these are deeper again. These are, um, I think, a lot of these was alcohol inks. I can't remember. Right, okay. So I'm just going to put those in there for now and so look i better just do do that one that one do three of those for now i've got an actual photograph album i put them in but i'm really low on everything once i've done them but i'm working with these but once i say finish the bug kit i'll put them in i'll put them in something like this no. I've got my die cuts in here. There's some that I've done. This is um these work really well and I've explained that before. These are just um collage sheets. Yeah. And look how great they turn. So if you don't like your collage sheet, just die cut them. Yeah, and then this is all collage sheets all of this and then some are heat and yeah most of these are heat embossed no, they're not done anything with those yet these are some butterflies but they're not being heat embossed that's the big um Sizzix die really like that one and i to say that's all i've done really and a few more there I like these. Yeah, that's all I've got. So I'm really low, low on my stocks, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, let's see what I got. Yeah, I got a few here dotted around. They've all been heat embossed. These are not coloured. I think Lee was gifted to me, so I haven't coloured them yet. That's it. Okay, and that's all I've got left. Not very many at all. So these will stay by me while I'm working with the kit. And then I'll put them in here as soon as I've finished. I'm working on something else. And then at least I know where they are. <laughs> Says me. Because I'm not going to lose that book, am I? Okay. So, and I'll pick a couple of these. I need to mount them though. So. Like I say, I want to do some more with... Um, alcohol inks as well and then we can go through and have a look at all of them and see what we prefer okay all right i'll just get my embossing stuff out stick those together 
Oh, I did save some of these because I thought the backgrounds were so nice. Yeah. But I saved a couple of pieces just in case I want to make something out of those. And I did save a bit of that as well. Just in case. Okay. Right. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So I'm using the Seth up to beeswax but honestly you can use some of the tim holtz glazes because they they literally you can see underneath and you can get some fabulous results i'm just using this today so that we can see exactly what we're doing um, sorry i've got a piece of paper so Okay, we've got my heat gun. Um, again, you can use glossy accents too if you wanted to. So. That's just from a not very nice piece of um, scrapbook paper that wouldn't use, so ideal. Need a pair, new pair of these too. I've worn them out. <laughs> so make sure you get this nice and hot before you start. Yeah. Let's see if I had a bit of white paper. I know I've got that one, but it's dirty now. Just, okay. I'll bring them up to the camera. There we go. Yeah, I might have a bit of shadow now because it's getting it's dark outside. There we go. They look great, don't they? 
yep i think they look really nice so so that's the end of this one and then what i'll do tomorrow is do some with alcohol ink and then we'll compare them all okay and see which ones we like best